NASA has just unveiled one of the most bizarre images ever taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, launched three years ago and positioned about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This telescope orbits the Sun, searching for distant cosmic objects. Recently, it captured an image that feels oddly recognizable. Scientists have even dubbed it the penguin and the egg. But what exactly are we looking at here? Is it a star constellation, a nebula, or something entirely different? In this video, we'll explore the answer. Our insatiable curiosity and thirst for knowledge have driven us to explore the farthest reaches of the universe. While we can't journey there ourselves, we began building telescopes that could do it for us. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands as the most powerful and ambitious of them all, acting like a time machine, a cosmic sleuth, and a gateway to the universe's most profound mysteries. The JWST is remarkable, but how did this extraordinary concept come to be? Let's go back to the early 1990s. After the Hubble Space Telescope transformed our understanding of the cosmos, scientists envisioned a successor capable of seeing even further into space, beyond Hubble's limits. This dream led to the creation of the James Webb Space Telescope project, with one major mission, to observe the first galaxies formed after the Big Bang. That's right, this telescope was built to peer back in time over 13.5 billion years. Constructing the James Webb Space Telescope was no simple task. It required decades of meticulous planning, design, and overcoming numerous obstacles. The project officially launched in 1996 as a joint effort between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. These organizations combined their expertise, technology, and resources to bring this remarkable telescope into existence. The JWST assembly was nothing short of extraordinary, with each component designed for a specific role in its cosmic mission. To truly grasp how it operates, we need to explore the various parts of the telescope. Let's dive in. The primary mirror is the most crucial component, truly the centerpiece. This massive mirror spans 6.5 meters and is made up of 18 hexagonal segments, each coated with a thin layer of gold. It is the largest mirror ever sent into space, designed to capture faint light from distant galaxies, stars, and planets. Its immense size and precision enable the JWST to observe objects billions of light years away. Then there's the sun shield, which acts like a colossal cosmic sunscreen. This five-layered structure, about the size of a tennis court, shields the telescope from the sun's heat and light. Made from a special material called captain, each layer is coated with aluminum and silicon to reflect sunlight. The sun shield keeps the telescope cool, maintaining a temperature of around minus 233 degrees Celsius. This extreme cold is vital allowing the telescope to detect faint infrared signals from the farthest reaches of the universe without interference. Following that, the telescope features an Integrated Science Instrument Module, ISIM, which houses the four primary scientific tools responsible for the core operations. These include the near-infrared camera, the mid-infrared instrument, and various spectrographs. Together, these instruments capture and analyze the light gathered by the mirror enabling scientists to explore everything from star formation to the atmospheres of exoplanets. Additionally, there is a spacecraft bus, essentially the JWST's backbone. It holds the telescope together and contains the systems that power and manage the entire mission, including communication, propulsion, and data processing. Considering the immense complexity of its design, building the JWST was far from affordable. The total cost of the project reached nearly 10 billion US dollars, covering everything from the early design phases and engineering to the launch and ongoing operations. As one of the most expensive scientific instruments ever built, its price might seem steep, but its capabilities make it worth every cent. With such remarkable features, you might ask, how does it actually work? How do all these components come together to reveal the universe millions of kilometers away? The James Webb Space Telescope is an enormous space-based camera, but it doesn't take pictures in the same way as conventional cameras. Instead, it records light from the most distant corners of the universe, locations that are billions of years away. The James Webb Space Telescope observes light in a distinct manner, utilizing infrared wavelengths rather than the visible light our eyes detect. Why infrared? 
The reason is that the light from distant galaxies and stars has shifted into the infrared range due to the vast distances. The JWST's large, gold-coated mirror gathers this infrared light, allowing it to see phenomena invisible to the naked eye. This captured light is processed by the telescope's scientific instruments to generate images. However, the images you see from the JWST are not naturally colored. The light it collects often lies beyond the visible spectrum, meaning our eyes can't perceive it. Wavelengths are key here. Different colors correspond to different wavelengths, with red having a longer wavelength than blue. The JWST instruments record light across various wavelengths, and scientists then assign colors to these wavelengths to produce the images we view. These images don't just appear from the telescope ready for Instagram. They undergo a process of enhancement, which involves merging data from multiple exposures and reducing any noise that may have affected the image. This meticulous work demands both human skill and computer algorithms to ensure every detail is crisp, every color is true, and every star or galaxy is distinctly visible. The result is stunning images that are not only visually striking but also rich in scientific information. Remember when we mentioned that the James Webb Space Telescope would help us study the Big Bang? But what does this really entail, and how can it look into the past? The Big Bang happened about 13.8 billion years ago, marking the universe's origin. We're not viewing the explosion itself, though. The JWST is focused on the earliest galaxies and stars that emerged just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The science behind this is astonishing. Light takes time to travel, so when we observe distant galaxies, we're essentially peering back in time. The more distant an object, the older the light we're seeing. When the James Webb Space Telescope captures images of these ancient galaxies, it's recording light that has been journeying for over 13 billion years. This offers us a rare glimpse into the universe's early days, a period we haven't been able to study in such detail before. Isn't that incredible? Want to see the very first images captured by the James Webb Telescope? The James Webb Space Telescope made history with its launch on December 25, 2021, after years of meticulous planning and overcoming numerous obstacles. The world watched as this groundbreaking telescope embarked on its journey into space. How did it get there? The JWST was launched aboard an Ariane 5 rocket provided by the European Space Agency from the Guiana Space Center in French Guiana, located on the northeastern coast of South America. The launch was a high-stakes moment but it proceeded flawlessly, setting the JWST on its unique path. Rather than entering Earth's orbit, the telescope was directed toward the second Lagrange point, or L2, situated about 1.5 million kilometers, nearly a million miles, from Earth in the opposite direction of the Sun. This location was chosen because L2 is where the gravitational forces of Earth and the Sun balance the JWST's orbit, allowing it to remain in a stable position with minimal fuel consumption. This vantage point provides an unobstructed view of the universe with little interference from Earth's atmosphere and heat. Upon reaching L2, the JWST underwent a series of critical deployments. The telescope's massive sunshield had to unfurl precisely to shield its instruments from solar heat. The mirror also needed to unfold and align accurately, a nerve-wracking yet awe-inspiring process. With all systems in place, the telescope was ready to start its mission. In July 2022, NASA unveiled the first stunning images from the JWST, and the wait was well worth it. The results were extraordinary. Among the first images released was the iconic deep field view, showcasing a myriad of galaxies billions of light years away. Known as Webb's first deep field, this image provided the deepest and clearest infrared view of the distant universe ever captured. The light in this image had traveled over 13 billion years to reach us offering a glimpse into galaxies as they existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Another striking image captured the Southern Ring Nebula, a cloud of gas and dust around a dying star, revealing the star's final stages with incredible detail. Additionally, the JWST captured a breathtaking view of Stefan's Quintet, a group of five interacting galaxies approximately 290 million light-years away. These images are not only stunning but also packed with scientific insights, enabling astronomers to explore star formation, galaxy evolution, and the composition of distant celestial objects like never before.
The remarkable detail we now observe is thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope's ability to detect infrared light, which penetrates clouds of dust and gas that would otherwise block our view, unveiling parts of the universe previously hidden. Thanks for watching. Hidden secrets await. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more amazing content.